Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of using AWS Fargate to run our container series. So in part 1 we have pushed our local image up to ECR. And now let's use AWS ECS or Elastic Container Service. And we will use AWS Fargate type to run our container without we having to manage any resources. But first we need to set up our network properly because we don't want our containers to run in a publicly accessible network. We always want our load balancer to be accessible over internet, but our tasks or the containers should be in a private network. So in order to achieve our network requirements, let's create a separate VPC or virtual private cloud for our application. So I will click on services here. I will type VPC. So now we can set up our custom VPC or the custom network that suits our application. So I will just click VPC here and I have a default VPC, but we're not going to use the default VPC. Instead, I'm going to create a new VPC. I will call this as, let's say, my VPC. And for the CIDR range, we'll use 10.0.0 slash 16 CIDR range and I'll hit create. So it's created. I will close this down. So this is the VPC I just created. Now inside this VPC, let's subdivide this network into four subnetworks and we'll designate two of those subnets as public subnets where our load balancer will run and two of those subnets as private subnets where our tasks will be run. So I will go to subnet sections here. I will click create subnet. First, I will type my VPC public one. So this is my first public subnet. Let's pick the VPC, my VPC. And I will pick availability zone, US is 1A for that. And let's divide our main slash 16 CIDR into four sections. And for this one, I will type 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This is a slash 24 uh, CIDR. And I will click create. So my first subnet is created, filtered by the VPC so we can properly see this. Okay, VPC is still not shown. I will refresh this, then it should show. Here you go, my VPC. And this is my first subnet I just created. So that's a public subnet with 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Okay, now let's create the second public subnet. I will click create subnet, my VPC, public to my VPC. And the availability zone earlier it was East 1A. I will choose East 1B. And let's pick the CIDR 0.2.0 slash 24. Make sure these subnet CIDRs are distinct. No, they are, they are not overlapping. So 1 and 2 is created. Then I will create my private subnet that would be named as my VPC private 1, my VPC availability zone. I will just pick the east one again, 0 dot, this time 3 dot 0 slash 24. And last private VPC, or the private subnet rather, private 2, my VPC, this time US test 1, and let's name it, name the side as 10 dot 0 dot I think it's 4.0 slash 24. Well, you can divide your subnet as required. So this is how I chose. In order to make my public subnet actually public, I have to attach an internet gateway. So I will create an internet gateway here. Click internet gateway. I will type my VPC IGW for internet gateway. Create it. So it's created now. So it's at the moment it's detached. So I will click actions and attach to VPC and then pick the VPC, my VPC here and click attach. So it is now attached to my VPC. Now I will create two route tables and attach in the internet gateway I just created to one route table and then attach that route table to my public subnet. So I will click create route table here, name tab, I will type my VPC public route table, RT for short, and the VPC is this, and I will click create. So 
route table is created so this is the one it just created and now I will click routes under here and at the moment it has only the local route but we want to add the route that points to internet gateway as well so I will use this any path pattern that means any route other than this local routes it should go to my internet gateway then it will suggest the internet gateway here pick that one and save routes so route is successfully created you see now I have two routes so any route outside my network side will be directed to the internet gateway that is fine so I will create my second route table let's type my VPC this time it is the private route table I will just pick the same VPC and create it so it's created now this route table I don't need an internet gateway attached now what I will do is I will attach this private route table to my two private subnets so I'll click subnet association and edit subnet association so I will select private 1 and private 2 and hit save so those two subnets will be associated with my private route table then I will select public route table with the internet gateway attached this and I will go to subnet association click edit association and this time I'm going to select the public subnets public 1 and public 2 and save it okay now we have done with our uh, network creation just to summarize so I have created a VPC my VPC with 10.0.0 slash 16 slider and I divided this entire slider block or the net IP address ranges into four IP address ranges so those are my subnets right here and if I filter it by my VPC I have two private uh, subnets which has the uh, private route table attached and it has only the local route which route within the VPC but I have two public route tables where it reference the public route table so my public route table has an additional route for any other IP addresses outside my VPC to route to the internet gateway so any resource I will add into this public subnet will be accessible from internet so in this series we are going to spin up our load balancer inside our public subnet so that can be accessible from anywhere in the internet and our containers those container tasks we will be spinning up inside our private network and we'll set up the configuration that only our load balancer can access those containers inside our private network but not anybody outside so this is the end of part 2. I will see you in the part 3.